Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this army showcase. Uh, a little bit different today. This is one of the team's personal armies which has been sold to a uh, client. Uh, it's a really cool Primera Space War Force. So do make sure you check out the whole video. If you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then Siege Studios is UK-based premium commission miniature painting service. And from our minimum level, which is our bronze level, all the way up to our platinum level, uh, which is a competition entry quality level, all the levels here at Siege are a premium above table top at their minimum quality. Uh, so I do hope if you are interested in a commission with us, you can head to the website, which is linked directly in the description below. Click on that link to go to our contact form, complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options for your project. And in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is shown on that contact form. And if you fire that off to us, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome Space Wolves Primaris Force in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, as ever, we're going to have a look at the two characters from this Space Wolf force. Now, Ben uh, is parting ways with his Space Wolf army. He has uh, sold it to one of our clients. Um, he's going to be collecting Ultramarines, so you will be seeing those on our social media very, very soon. Um, but this is his Space Wolf force that he was starting for the for Space Marine Primaris army. And, um, and I do hope you're going to like it. There's some absolutely stellar models in this army uh, for the characters all the way through to the infantry uh, and the two big units at the end of the video. Uh, it's all painted to our gold level, uh, so you can have a good viewing of the quality that you do get with us here at Siege uh, for one of our higher levels. And uh, without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at this awesome Wolf Priest. Now, um, Ben converted this from the Space Marine Primaris Chaplain uh, before any uh, other models were released. Uh, so he's really, really had a lot of fun doing it and uh, incorporated in loads and loads of uh, details and extra bits and bobs onto the model, as you can see here. But overall, a lovely finish, and you can see all the highlighting done, all the sort of contrast is applied to the sort of the yellow parts, the multiple levels of highlighting throughout, and all the gem work, the cloth, the fabric, um, the subtle sort of scratching and chipping and leather that are done on the leather. It's very, very intricate what he's done on there. All the little totems and bits and extra bobs that he's put on the model as well to give it that space wall feel as well, which is really, really cool. Um, you could probably use this as I'll, I'll read the slayer as well obviously he's put the helmet on there so it covers it caters for a wolf priest or you can use it as Ulrich as well which is quite cool um again he's got his uh his, his staff there as well with it's got a load of detail work all done on it every single little facet on there has been highlighted as well which is lovely and you've got all the facial details as well Ben spent a lot of time getting that face super realistic uh, with loads of contrast on there as well which is lovely uh the little extra details on the horns as well which is really really cool and uh, just moving around every little gem lens dial detail everything has had loads of time and uh, lavished into it to get it to a very 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 high standard here as you can see uh, so that's just this Ulrich the Slayer slash Wolf Priest model for the army to lead it um, and then we'll pull forward one of the lieutenants or the lieutenant from the force you can see here again loads of time has been invested into him to get a really really exquisite finish uh, with all of the little details the dials lights lenses buttons uh, totems everything fully fully painted and highlighted and obviously all the facial details there as you can see Ben spent loads of time getting the face to look as realistic as physically possible uh, and then moving around, we've got extra little bits and bobs of freehand done onto the, uh, the markings for this uh, lieutenant as well. Obviously, he's got his helmet there with all the lenses and everything fully painted, point of light source, multiple highlighted on there as well. And again, you can see this lovely, subtle purple tinge that's been done into the lower portions of the armour. Um, Ben's just spent ages glazing that colour in. Uh, and it doesn't detract from the overall Space Wolf colour, but it does add this lovely, lovely uh, sort of uh, look to the models that just, if you look at them close at hand and you've got them, move them in the light, they've got this lovely sort of purple tinge to them in, there, in the recesses as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just a lieutenant from this force. To all Awesome models to lead the Space Wolf army. We're absolutely over the moon that our client's going to be taking this off of Ben and looking after it uh, moving forward. Uh, so yeah, coming up next, we have all the infantry from the force. Do stick around, they're coming up next. And then we have all the uh, heavy thing hitters, so the Sakaran and the Redemptor, they're up at the end of the video. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, we have all of the infantry from this Space Wolf force. And there are 15 of them. You've got 10 intercessors grouped into two fives left and right. And then you have the central hell blasters. We'll start by looking at the hell blasters. Again, Ben has spent loads and loads of time lavishing lots of attention on all of these individual space wolves. Every little lens and detail fully painted, fully highlighted. And this is a very good representation of our gold level painting here at Siege. Uh, very, very exquisite standard that you do get for our gold level. Uh, if you look at all the 
contrast applied to the pads, the armor, the subtle tinge of purple on the areas of the armor, which is really nice. Uh, all the crisp, super, super fine detailing and edge highlighting that's done and every little detail fully painted through multiple levels of highlighting. Uh, so that's just one of these Hellblasters. Pull forward uh, a few of them, just so you can see them in a bit more detail. You've got some, obviously, some head tattoos on some of these guys as well. Uh, extra little bits and bobs of detail added throughout all the little models here. So that's just uh, another one of the Hellblasters. Pull forward another one so you can have a look at him. Again, really, really cool. All these free-handed pack markings as well, which are really, really nice. Uh, so that's just uh, another one of these Hellblasters. Uh, pull some from the back so you can see these as well, just so you can see the consistency from model to model. But really, really, really cool finish on all of these. Uh, that's just another one. And then the last chap from that Hellblaster unit as well here. Uh, really cool as well. And that subtle tinge of purple, you can just see it in some of the areas of the recesses of the armor. It's been glazed on to add that lovely subtle contrast to the models, which is lovely. Uh, and then the two groups of five intercessors, uh, we'll pull forward the ones from the right first of all. This is just obviously the sergeant, as you can see here, but every little detail fully painted. Uh, Ben's done a stellar job when he was making his own force here, uh, just adding every little bit of detail work to the models, transfers and freehand and bits and bobs. Uh, so really, really cool. These ones distinguished by the red um, mask piece on the, on the helmets as well. That's how we just distinguish them so they can be worked out from unit to unit. But again, here you can see every little detail painted in a lovely fashion. Really, really cool models. Uh, just pull forward a few more of these just so you can see. Uh, but really, really lovely finish on all of them. Okay, and they're going to be going to our new uh, client who uh, has purchased the army from us. This was for sale on our Instagram account. You may have seen it if you follow us on Instagram. If you don't, then please go follow us on there. Uh, and, uh, and one of our clients uh, saw these, fell in love, and has decided to snap them up. Uh, excuse the pun. Um, so, <laughs> so let's pull forward the other uh, squad here. And these are distinguished by the uh, by the plumes on the heads as well. But as you can see here, every little detail fully painted on these awesome, all the screens, buttons, dials, every little bit of bother detail is all done. Done with these lovely free-handed pack markings as well on the shoulder pads uh, and obviously with the sort of filigree there on the helmet as well it's been done uh, but really 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 cool model so that's the sergeant and uh, Paul Ford probably one of my favorites from the units is this dude here he's just bounding forward and shooting which is really cool again here uh, lovely lovely models and obviously they all match in with the uh, different different markings as well which is really cool so that's just another one here every little lens and totem and done and all painted as well which is lovely and pull forward the last one here so you can see. Well, actually, not the last one, but there's one more to show you. Uh, again, this guy's really cool, just shooting away there, as you can see, which is lovely. And then the last one, uh, which I do like, which is just advancing forward, looking for his next target as well, which is really cool. So that's just, uh, and you can see there on the leg, just that subtle subtle purple tinge to the, the Space Wolf kind of armor color as well, which Ben's done on these models, which is really, really nice. So that's the infantry from this force. Uh, up next, we're going to be having a look at the uh, big boys, the Redemptor, and also the Sakaran. So we're back in a second to have a look at those in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So at last, we have the two big boys from this force. We've got the Redemptor on the left and also the Sakaran tank on the right. So both really cool models. Obviously, one's from Forge World, one's one of the new Primaris uh, range. Uh, we'll pull forward the Dread, first of all, because he is exquisitely finished uh, in a lovely, lovely fashion. Here you can see Ben's done loads and loads of extra work on the armor to get that lovely tonal variation on the armor panels. And you can really see that purple tinge that has been sort of glazed into the lower portions and sort of had a lot of time of blending done on the armor of this, uh, this Dreadnought here, as you can see. Really good example of some of our gold level work, uh, which is lovely. Um, you can see every little detail has been fully painted. All of the power cables have got chevrons on them with highlighting done across those. It's got full transfers. A couple of little bits of scratching and chipping done on some of the areas of it as well. Not too, too uh, heavy, but quite a nice finish on all of those areas. All the cables and everything done there, as you can see. Every little lens, dial, gem, everything all painted uh, with lots of extra little bits and bobs of detail to give it that Space Wolf heraldry, as you can see there, which is really, really cool. Um, love the fact that Ben's incorporated some uh, some thousand suns few thousand suns fans just on the base there he's uh, just gently stepping over that and uh, <laughs> and um, just maintaining that little grudge there and uh, as you can see all the little weapons and everything all fully painted as well I do like the attention on the on the hand as well just the red claw which I think is really cool uh, Ben's named it as well 
I believe they named this after a space wall from a book that he was reading quite some time ago, which is quite cool. Uh, but again, really, really lovely finish on this dreadnought. You can see that lovely purple tinge to the uh, to the space wall's grey kind of armour that's been done on this. But uh, overall, lovely finish. Uh, so that's just the Redemptor. And then we'll pull forward this awesome Sakaran battle tank. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit more weathering on this as well, uh, which is really, really cool. Everything is fully magnetised, so basically, so you can uh, switch out the weapons as well. Ben's done a stellar job just doing all of that, uh, which is really nice. Uh, again, you can see the glazing of that purple onto the armor panels of this as well, just to add that really lovely property and tonal variation to the model as well, which is really cool. All the lenses and everything done there, as you can see. And then moving around, we've got this lovely yellow accent color as well on the uh, tank as well. But just absolute hours of time spent getting that glaze, glazing of that purple into the recesses, into the lower portions, just to add that tonal variation. You've got all the, all the uh, transfers that have been added to these, but again, these are all magnetized so that you can just remove the guns. Um, on the, all the copper work, you can see all the, all the verdigris that's been done around rivets and bits and bobs like that as well, which is really cool. Um, and overall, a lovely, lovely stellar finish on this uh, Sakaran tank. I do hope you like it. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at all the army in, a, uh, in its glory together again and find out a little bit more if you are interested in taking out a commission with us for an army character or a small force. See you guys back in a second. So thanks for watching to the end of the video, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. I do hope you have liked this showcase of Ben's Space Wolves. He's very sad to see them go, but at the same time, it's good that they're going to a great client who's going to be dishing out lots of Fenrisian justice with them. Uh, so I do hope you like them. Uh, if you are interested in a commission for an army character or a small force uh, like this, for example, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of the video where you can see uh, the link to our contact form. Click on that link. It will take you directly to the website's contact form. And complete it by selecting the relevant drop down options for your project and then in the message section include a list of models in our format uh, and fire that off to us. We'll come back to you with a quote and get the process all started. Uh, while you're in the description of this video there's all the links to our social media so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, please go and give us a like and follow respectively on those and while you're here on YouTube a couple of quick little things. Obviously if you're not a subscriber please subscribe to the channel because you can keep up to date with everything that we do. If you hit the bell icon you will be notified whenever we put up a new video on here as well so that will be good for you guys. Check out all the new stuff. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it, really, guys. So thank you very much, and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.